rights and democracy of Vermont, where we work very hard every day to fight for economic, social, and environmental justice in the state of Vermont. I want to see your fist in the air if you are ready to fight back. I think everyone here can agree that we have a right to clean air, clean water, and that if we're going to solve this climate crisis, we need clean energy. And we know that it takes all of us. You are one of thousands of people here today and one of millions marching globally because the people in power right now don't believe that we need to be doing everything in our power to stop the threat that is climate change and the destruction of our planet. Many of them don't even believe in climate change. Is that okay with us? No! no. It is time for us to build a new system that puts people and the planet first. A system where we set the priorities and goals to create sustainable and healthy communities. And a system where the way that we make the decisions is up to us and not the people and not the corporations who profit at our expense and the expense of our communities and the people that we love. Woo! Today, Rights and Democracy is launching our campaign for energy democracy, a vision for Vermont that harnesses our natural resources and empowers our communities to solve our climate crisis. It is time to end the inequity in our system that allows our natural energy resources to be financially strip mined for the benefit of distant communities and distant owners. Because wouldn't we rather see the power and those profits be kept local to benefit all of us here in Vermont? We need to improve access, regardless of income, not only to renewable energy, but also to the ability to own that power. The climate crisis will be solved by us, the people. It doesn't matter what cutting edge technology we have if we're not working to disrupt the status quo that exploits us and pits us against each other so that we can't see the thing that we all have in common, a desire to live healthy, safe, and dignified lives. This is what will unite us to fight back, and we can start right here in Vermont. And we have to, because even here, we see the same systemic problems in a state budget that fails to meet the needs of working and low-income Vermonters. We see the same systemic problem when it comes to a failure to provide livable wages or universal health care for everyone. And too often, the people who profit the most are the ones who are calling the shots and making the policies. And most of them are not just going to give us what we want and need out of the kindness of their hearts. We have to put the power back into the hands of the people and our communities who have the most to lose and also the most to gain. We have no choice but to turn this around. And we have a lot of work to do before we get to an economy that puts people and the planet first. So today we rally, and tomorrow we get to work. In a few weeks, Rights and Democracy will launch Democracy Summer from protest to power, a summer-long statewide tour to build unity across movements and across our communities to take the energy from all of these national mobilizations back into our neighborhoods to create change on a local level right here in our state. And I hope that you will join us because together we win. So in the summer of 2015, our very own Senator Bernie Sanders began going around the country. In his campaign for president, saying that we didn't just need to elect a new president, but we needed to build a massive grassroots movement. That we needed a political revolution. And since that time, tens of millions of people have joined that call. And even since the election, he hasn't stopped helping build this movement. And we are thrilled to have him join us here today. Yeah. 